In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to print from a database using Brothers free P-Touch Editor 6 software. So you can see here in the top left corner, I am connected up to my label printer, the PT-E560BT. And I'm going to print some patch panel labels from a database that I have prepared in Excel. So what you want to do is, from the main home screen, you want to select patch panel which brings up a number of ready-made label templates. So you've got 4-port, 6-port, 8-port and so on. But I'm going to select the 4-port template here, which matches up to the data that I need to input into the labels. Then click Create. So this next screen is essentially your label preview, where you're free to edit the contents, the positioning, the design of the label, label size and so on. Now we're going to go up here to the top right hand corner and click database. Open and then we're going to find the file that we want to import. In this case it's a CSV file, this one right here. So select that and press open again. And then you can see a preview of the data here. So if you press OK, at the bottom of the screen you can now see all of your data it's pulled through. So in this case, I'm wanting to create six patch panel labels, each with four ports. What you want to do then is merge the data with the text fields here by simply dragging and dropping each column of data to the relevant text field. So hold your cursor over F1 and drag and drop into the first text field and then F2, F3 and so on. That's then created your six patch panel labels without having to input all of the data manually. So it's a real time saver. What we can do then is we can change the port spacing to suit our needs, depending on the width of the ports that you're working with. We can also change the style of the separator here. And then once you're happy with the layout, you want to highlight all of the data down here at the bottom and then press print. And here you have a preview of the complete job, so your six individual labels. A little tip, in the print settings here down the left side, you should ensure that the auto cut is disabled and the half cut feature is enabled, like so. And I'll show you why now. So, if we go ahead and press print, you'll then get your six labels in one continuous strip in the order that you need them. The half cut feature creates a perforated cut in between each label, as you can see here. This allows you to peel them off one at a time as and when needed. So you don't need to worry about losing or misplacing labels on site. And you've got everything that you need in one place.